The Hotel Chester is located in Starkville, Mississippi, home to the Mississippi State University. Husband and wife, David and Suki Mollendor, bought the hotel in 2000. Before buying the Chester, David traveled the world as a hotel troubleshooter. Well, I've worked in the hotel industry 39 years. Thank you for calling Hotel Chester. Wanted to try and settle down and give our kids one stable place to be. Oh, one of us got to get taller. <laughs> to begin with, a 36-bedroom hotel was a real success, packed with students and locals. How you doing? Good. <laughs> <laughs> then a sudden tragedy hit the family. David was coming home and was uh, involved in a, a major auto accident. We thought we lost him. That changed all of us overnight. He crushed his feet and was bedridden for almost six months. It's a little dated. The court is very dated. In David's absence, standards dropped and customers stopped coming. Well, we were losing so much money that I had to file for bankruptcy. The financial losses have been so bad, the bank foreclosed on their home. So now they're living in the hotel. Living in the hotel, working together in the hotel. I feel tired and I feel uh, out of sync with the world. They couldn't afford payroll. So Suki left her job in real estate and took over as chef and temporary manager. It was my idea that we open a sushi restaurant. Never worked in any restaurant kitchens before in my entire life. But I knew how to make the sushi. My mom was confused. But despite her best intentions, with no formal training, oh. she's struggling. Oh. Uh -oh. oh, where's my knife? Suki spends all her time in the hotel, so she's blind to the tens of thousands of students and tourists who could be potential customers. And the hotel's bedrooms and dining room are empty most nights. I just need those entrees. Yeah, but I guess they're coming. You know, I see it in my parents' eyes. I see that they're physically exhausted, that they're mentally drained. My mom, she used to be lively, vibrant. She's honestly half the woman she used to be. Man, I forget. I'm losing my mind. When I came to this place, I was 180 pounds of twisted blue steel, sex appeal, and mucho hell. And this old bitch has worn me down to 200 pounds of flab, gab, and total no mas. With almost no money coming into the hotel, David and Suki are hanging on by a very thin thread. I need Gordon to help my parents because if this hotel doesn't change, it's we lose everything. This is it. I'm in Starkville, Mississippi's college town. I'm on my way to the Hotel Chester, Mississippi State University, founded in 1878. Any hotel with a college on their doorstep should be absolutely thriving, not just for the students, but with their parents as well. I can't wait to check into the Hotel Chester. Where is this place? I can't even see the sign. Got to know where it is. How are you? I'm looking for the Hotel Chester. I've never been there before. You've yeah, never been there? Yeah. No, I'll down. find it. Yeah. I've gone round three times. It's easy to miss. It's easy to miss. <laughs> yeah. I, I can't see any signs. Well, there may be one sign, but I mean, it's not, right. it's not too big. Huh? OK, great. <laughs> Bring up the Excellent. Thank you. Enjoy. The students never go to the Chester, despite the fact it's right next to the campus. Weird. There we are there. Historic Hotel Chester entrance as well. Such a huge building and such a tiny sign. It's madness. Finally. Morning, sir. Hey, good How are morning. You? How are you? Good to see you, Gordon. Good to see you, and I'm David Gordon. David, nice to see you. Well, I finally found the place. That is so confusing there, you know that. There's no sign on Main Street. I drove straight by. And see him on the corner of the building? A tiny sign saying it's historic. That, that's what's historic about oh, it. That's, it's, that's, that's historically been a bad entrance. Now we have you in an executive king room. And then here's two keys for you, because I'm giving you two because men don't follow instructions as well as women. Okay. Or in case you get lucky, hell yes. <laughs> 
So you're a hands-on owner. Uh, you run the desk all by yourself? My wife is the chef. She's taught herself. You can meet lady? Well, can I finish my spiel? I thought you'd already finished. So, uh, breakfast is included. We do have fresh cut fruit. That's nice to know, fresh cut fruit. We, what uh, would be the alternative? Canned? No. Uh, no fruit, I think. Oh. Would be the <laughs> I love your sense of humor. <laughs> it's dry and very funny. Fresh cut fruit for breakfast. Yes, sir. Nice. Now, I just want you to know I'm not always at the desk. OK. But you'll be able to recognize me even if I'm walking away from you, because I'm the one who looks like he's riding a chicken. Riding a chicken? Yeah. I've never ridden a chicken. You have to show. Oh. Well, you just have to look at my legs. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go get Suki, OK? OK, great. That poor chicken. OK, now. I've got a guest that wants to meet you. Oh, okay. uh oh, what do you do with that? I am making tamago. Gordon is here to help us out, and I'm terrified, but at the same time, I, I'm so excited. Okay. Oh. Hi! Hello. How are you? Nice to see you. And don't worry, I've had worse than wet hands. Nice to meet you. I washed my hands. Uh, that's very kind. Thank you for that. Uh, uh, and Thank you. Suki, right? Nice to meet you. Likewise, good to see you too. <laughs> What's it like working with your wife? I love my wife, so it's mm -hmm. nice to be around her until she gets her nose out of joint. She has a chef's temperament. If okay. you're not familiar with it, right, they, well. they can fly off the handle pretty easy. What's your background? I'm a hotel guy. I was in Vietnam, and I went to so hotel, hotel school. So you qualified uh, as a hotelier? Well, so in my view, yeah. Well, that's great. That's good, good to hear. Graduated with a major in hotel and restaurant management, and I've been in the business almost 40 years. So, in a nutshell, what's wrong with the hotel? That's a question. We're not sure. <clears throat> we don't think it's a quality issue, uh, neither for our rooms or our food and, and beverage. Why don't you both show me to the room? OK. I've been a general manager of a lot of hotels. I eventually became a turnaround guy to take on problem properties. So my big surprise here is that I'm having a hell of a time trying to turn this thing around. We just call it an executive oh. king. Oh, dear. OK. This is it. Yes, sir. What is that, swing? It's uh, leather, but it's a uh, rough leather and very difficult to clean. It's so bland. I mean, it's like a cheap motel chain. I feel like I'm in the witness protection program. This is depressing here. So when was the last time the roof were touched? 2003. 2003, so 10 years ago. Yeah. It feels like something out of the 1970s. Our hotel rooms are dated, you know, we try to call it period furniture. Yeah, I don't know what to say. It always tells you that a place is on the decline when you walk in, you've got walls that are a mess, scuffs everywhere, and big marks on the sofas that you're expected to pay good money to sit down in. So far, I'm not digging it. I'm going to unpack, and then I'd like to come down and um, have a bite to eat. Suki, so what's your experience in the kitchen? My father had a sushi restaurant in Washington, D.C. Parents of a Japanese yeah. restaurant? Had. My did you father grow up in the passed kitchen? away. Of course. But did you work in the kitchen? No, just washing dishes. <laughs> anyway, this I'm going to unpack. Thank you. OK, hey. Yeah. Thank Good you. to see you, likewise. Yes, and nice I'm going to pop down and have a bite to eat. OK? okay. Right, Thank you. So, you know, I feel like the guy who walked into a bar with a big frog on his head, went up to the bar and asked the bartender for a drink. And the bartender said, man, I tell you, you got a problem, don't you? And the frog said, yeah, I'll I sure later, do. Babe. Can you cut this ward off my ass? <laughs> and God, can that man talk. Bars and restaurants in a vibrant college town like this are always packed at lunchtime. But this place is dead. I'm Lindsay. How are you? Good. There you go. Let me get you something to drink. Do you have some ice cold water? OK. Please. Mm -hmm. Thank you, my darling. Um, what would you recommend? Strawberry field sushi is uh, very popular. It's a little bit sweeter. I'll try it. Las Vegas as an appetizer as well. And then, oh, the Sakura. Five individual rolls rolled into one. I don't know how you execute all that Japanese food on that menu when you're not trained. Doesn't quite make sense. Oh, my goodness. This is not good. There's not a lot of people in Starkville that like our sushi. It's a little bit different from what other places in Starkville have. Oh. God, that 
Kessler. Suki runs her kitchen the way she wants to. It always takes too long in between tickets, but there was really nothing I could do about it. This food is taking way too long. I've been waiting over an hour for raw fish. Oh, my God. I can't take this anymore. Oh, God. Damn it. I'm at Starkville, Mississippi's Hotel Chester, and I've been waiting for my lunch for a very long time. Damn it. Jeez. <laughs> I nodded off there. My God. Does the sushi usually take this long? Yes, sir. What is this one? Las Vegas. Ooh, oh, my God. Salmon cream cheese. cream cheese and asparagus, and then it's deep fried and uh, comes with a jalapenos. Fried salmon with cream cheese. It's disgusting. What a strange combination. Very weird. It doesn't work for me, that one. I mean, it's just um, greasy. We um, can get this out of the way. Uh, as quick as possible. OK. Thank you. You're welcome. This is dreadful. My first impressions of the food here is that it's as bad as the rooms. Sakura. Sakura. And there's cream cheese in the middle. Look at that thing. So it's pretty big, right? So how are you supposed to get it in your mouth? I've never eaten it before. Let's try. Come on. Me? We're in this together. Oh, no, you ordered this one all on your own. That's yours. It's yours there. Ready? Open wide, please. Wait, there is no way this is going to fit my mouth. Ready? One, two, three. Uh-uh, oh. I can't do it. Now I know how my granddad feels when he puts his new teeth in. <laughs> Can uh, I throw uh, it away now? Yeah. So you took one little bite? I did. Damn. Disaster. Total disaster. How did it taste, by the way? I'm very good. The Sakura is very chewy. Suki does try her best, but she has no idea what she's doing. What's wrong with the Sakura? Bland, ugly, chewy, strange combination. Chewy. Yep. And impossible to put in your mouth. Let me tell you about my sushi. I'm not a Morimoto or Nobu. Absolutely not. I'm doing my best, and I respect rice. What is this one? Strawberry field. Now look at that. Strawberry on sushi. On behalf of every Japanese chef in America, I'd like to apologize. It's very weird. Which part is so just, you just, weird? You, you wouldn't cover white tuna with strawberries and then glaze it. Strawberry fields. I'd rather fucking eat a beetle. It's too sweet. Strawberries don't belong with tuna. I am frustrated that Gordon does not like uh, my sushi. I've tried all I can. How you doing, honey bun? Uh, he doesn't like any. He doesn't like any of it. No. <laughs> so, truthfully, what is wrong with this place? Lack of business. So on an average weekend, how many guests would you do? On a busy weekend, maybe 12 people. Are they in-house guests, hotel Usually. guests? Usually. So virtually nobody from the outside? Correct. Jesus. Anyway, where are the owners? Can you uh, tell me where they are? Sure. Thank you. They've got just 36 bedrooms, yet on a busy night, just 12 guests eat here. With food that bad, I'm not surprised. Congratulations on the longest lunch I've ever had in my entire cooking career. That was 97 minutes. Yeah, and half of it was raw. As a novice cook, why are you making sushi? It's crazy. I'm trying my best to, to at least introduce Mississippi. Let's eat a little bit healthier. There's nothing healthier with my lunch. Maybe a health warning. Sure. Surely you should be giving the locals what they want to eat. That's why they come. Well, no, no, talking no. to Lindsay, the only customers we get now are the ones staying in the hotel, which is practically no one. The business is on his ass. And how much debt are you in? Over nine hundred thousand. Nine hundred thousand dollars. Right. We are in debt. Please don't say you don't know. 
so far, Starkville, Mississippi's Hotel Chester has been a massive letdown. Hotel Chester entrance, well. Such a huge building and such a tiny sign. The dated Solar's rooms are awful. It's like a cheap motel chain. Strawberry on sushi. The sushi is the worst I've ever had. Wow. It's hideous. And David, the co-owner, has just admitted to me and to his wife that they're almost a million dollars in debt. $900,000. Right. We are in debt. Please don't say you don't know. I'm deeply sorry, and I'm, I'm sad that you're upset. I'm not upset at you. David should not have been hiding the financial status from me. Finding out she's been kept in the dark has angered Suki. Dave, hey, I, I don't know what we are doing. I do the spending side, and you do the paying side. I don't share the finances with Suki. This is getting ridiculous. Because I'm afraid of hurting Suki's feelings. Calm down. No, I'm not going to calm down. While the owners argue, guests who have heard about my visit are arriving at the Chester. For dinner, I'm just going to go to the restaurant, which is just straight shoot right back there, all right? OK. And tonight, the restaurant and hotel will be full of people for the first time in years. I feel sorry for all of them. How long have you been waiting? I would say at least 45 minutes. 45 minutes. My apologies. How long have you been waiting? I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, we've been here over in about an hour. An hour. So, yeah. I'm sorry. I've never seen anything like this before. It's insane how long these guests are waiting. So, what table is this, Suki? Oh, pardon me. I'm sorry. No, I just asked what table are you doing? The very first table. The very first table. It's been well over an hour, and Suki is only working on the first table. She's really struggling, and yet Dave is not stepping in to lend a hand. So, you know, over an hour in to service. Would you go in and help her? I would, but, you know, that's just not my territory. Right. Unfortunately. It's like the hotel's falling apart around you. If someone needs you in the kitchen, in the bar, in the reception, shouldn't you be multitasking? The uh, kitchen is her territory. OK, well, so, I'm just asking. It's your no, hotel. I, I know, and I appreciate that. Yeah. If the kitchen's not David's territory, then maybe the rooms are. It's like wow, touch the blinds, so and there's like That's it. dust all over it. Yeah, there's kind of a beat-up family. Mm. Looks like it came out of someone's house when they died. This is definitely not the place I want to yeah. hang out. It seems to me that David has checked out. I don't understand what's going on here. This is not good. Suki okay. is totally out of her depth, having only dealt with one of the eight tables waiting for food. Oh, no. This is awful. Wow. What's wrong, darling? They said it wasn't cooked. Yeah. yeah. It's cold. Yeah, it needs more cooking. Mom, what's wrong? It's not cooked. You OK? I don't even want to get her in trouble. Why is she bursting into tears? You okay? I'm fine. What, the, the, help me understand. What's going on? No, I just... The fish is undercooked in the centre. I know, I know. I just like, don't... Just, don't what? Um, what is it that I'm missing, the point? I don't understand why she's in there, plain head chef. Because we don't have anyone else. I mean... She became chef when my dad was in a car accident in 2008. He was bedridden for about six months, and then mom moved in to run the hotel the next day. My mom became a chef overnight. She came to the hotel, saw where she thought she was needed, and jumped in the kitchen. And ever since, she's been trying to make it work. And so how long has it been functioning like this? I mean, I think it's been in this state for about uh, two or three years. My dad has taken a step back and given up a little bit. OK. We have to be strong. Get I some am. fresh air. Get your eyes nice and bright, OK? okay? <laughs> Finally, I get it. The Hotel Chester has been in a tailspin since David's car accident. I wish Suki or David had told me. Well, the beer garden. Interesting. Suki is just trying to make this work as best she can, but she is failing miserably. And David has hotel knowledge, but since the accident, he has taken a back seat. This whole place feels lost. The owners, the restaurant, the bedrooms, even this garden feels abandoned, just like the dinner guests. The customers are getting so pissed off. I'm going to have to do something, otherwise this place is going to go crazy. The Hotel Chester in Starkville, Mississippi, is on the brink of financial disaster, and I've finally found out why. 
My dad was in a car accident in 2008. David's car accident sent the hotel into a sharp decline. Oh, no. Suki is drowning in the kitchen, trying to keep the business afloat. How long have you been waiting? I would say at least 45 minutes. Okay. We've been here over about an hour. While her husband David isn't taking the reins, I can't see the diner starve, so I've dashed over to the local supermarket. The least I can do to help poor Suki is to cook up a few sliders before the customers walk out. Those diners gonna get any food, trust me. Tonight, it's coming from me. That's ridiculous in there. An hour for appetizers, crazy. So sorry about the delay. There's a little uh, beef slider from the barbecue in the garden. I don't want you guys washing away. Everybody got some food now? Yes. Feel a little bit better? Yes. The burgers have brought Suki enough time to get through the rest of dinner service without anyone walking out. After a long three hours, everyone has finally been fed. I'm sure Suki is as relieved as me that dinner service is over. How are you, Suki? Fine, fine. fine? Yes. That was a tough one. It was very tough. Yeah? Yes, sir. Why don't you guys get out of here, you go home, let's hook up first thing tomorrow morning. How far is home away from here? This is our home now, that room. What do you mean, this is your home? We live here. You live on site? Yes. You have an apartment here? No, right in there, there's a the handicap room. That's our, that's our home now. You live in the handicap room? Yes. Can you show me? Since Dave's accident, I gave up everything. We have no money, so we had no choice but to live in this room. You live in here? Yes. There's not even a fucking window. No. Suki, I had no idea things were this bad. Well, you have to do what you have to do. I'm so sorry. Well, you know, Sometimes you have the bad times. Could you get David? Okay. Please? I don't know what else to do. We have two children. I would like for them to be, um, not to have to worry about their mom and dad. Okay. So you were running this hotel. This was your baby. That's right. David? Yes. And sadly, you got involved in a tragic car accident. Yes. What happened? Yes. I broke both of my ankles and my yes. back in two places. We nearly lost him. I mean, you know, I was pretty busted up, so... I've been spending most of the past five years just recovering. Why did you sell your house? We couldn't make the payment, and... You foreclosed? Yes. That's terrible. I'm sorry, I didn't know that. And you come home every night now into this bedroom. Uh -huh. This is awful. It is no way to live. I think you deserve something better. I promise I'm going to help you fix this place. OK? Yeah, sir. <laughs> Thank you, Gordon. Thank you. Will you get some rest, please? Sometimes I'll go seven days without stepping out of the hotel. And it's, uh, it's sad. I can't believe David and Suki have been living like this for years. I've never wanted to help two people so badly. I just hope I'm not too late. Oh, that was a rough night's sleep. Um, I couldn't stop thinking about David and Suki downstairs where they are almost cooped up in that tiny room with no windows. My sleep was rough, but Christ, imagine going through that for three years. Like they've been doing. God. <sighs> David and Suki have sunk so far, they have lost sight of the outside world. If they lose this hotel, then they lose everything. I need to show them the potential of this place before it's too late. It's like a sink. <sighs> Come on. This is ridiculous. I can't even get my feet wet. David and Suki need to see how to make the Hotel Chester a success. I've got a plan. You've let this business swallow the both of you up. Yeah. It is like quicksand. You know, you've lost your way. Not only have you lost the connection with each other, but you've lost the connection out there. Out there. The town, the students. The community, both of you, come with me. I've got something to show you that can save the life of your hotel. In the car, please. 
When was the last time you two went out for lunch? Jeff, I can't remember. Too long. You've never been out for lunch together? No. No. Wow. I want to show David and Suki a couple of places that are extremely successful because they tap in to what the community wants. Thank you, David. Oh, wow. Uh, lunch, are you always this busy? It's usually busier, actually. On an average weekend, uh, for instance, um, in the middle of summer, how many covers do you do? <laughs> Hundreds. Thousands, probably. I mean, it gets so slam packed. Thanks, thanks, thank you, sweet. Can you believe a thousand people a day here? Mm. Like, envious. Good, honest yeah. Mississippian food. I just want 10%. You just want 100 people a day? Yeah. 10%. That, 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 oh. I did not know that there were that many people eating out. I've got one more place to show David and Suki to really make sure they see there are plenty of businesses doing well in the town. How cool is this place? Oh, this okay. is, a, this is yeah. really popular. You know, since my accident, I really haven't gotten around town much. You know, this business is 100 metres from your front door. Thank you. Now, no, I don't. Please, how many covers are you doing a, a day? How many, what's the numbers? Um, about 200 a day. 200 a day. Customers and uh, weekends generally double that. Mm -hmm. So an average of 200 guests a day, 400 of the weekends, and families as well, uh, early evenings? Yeah. A lot of our business revolves around uh, college students. Thank you. The purpose of this outing is to show you how these businesses are drawing from the university, how they are open to every market, and it does translate to the rooms, you have a potential gold mine sat there. You have the traffic. You've got to tap into the community. That's what you're not doing. I'm, I'm convinced that's correct. I thought we were always welcoming students. Maybe we were wrong. So let's say, uh, yeah, it's def definitely an eye-opener. Now that I've shown David and Suki how much potential there is in Starkville, I need them to commit to turning the Hotel Chester around. That was nice. I enjoyed that. Yeah, I did too. To see it that busy for lunch was incredible. Well, the business is uh, booming there, so... David, you need to get your head back in the game. That's right. I got some great ideas, but you two have to be ready for change. Gordon, whatever direction you help us to get on, we're not going to waver off of that. When I arrived at Starkville, Mississippi's Hotel Chester, it was invisible on the main street. Hotel Chester entrance, well, it's such a huge building and such a tiny sign. And failing to appeal to the people who could make it a success, the college students. I'm convinced Suki and David are now ready for change. Whatever direction you help us to get on, we're not going to waver off of that. So now it's time to reveal the new hotel to David and Suki and their team. Oh, my God! Look at that! Oh! <laughs> oh, my God! Sure as hell don't have to worry oh, about buying it now. Oh, that's wonderful! Come we on. have a sign! Welcome to the new oh, Hotel right. Chester. You're no longer hidden on the main street. Now, customers, locals, will be identifying that it is a hotel. Is it big enough for you, David? There we go. I think it's really, really that great. There is the biggest marketing tool you'll ever need. I love it. Oh! Should we have a look inside? Yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing what Gordon has done with the inside of the hotel. Are you ready? Oh, oh my God. God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh. <laughs> well, jump in. Let's go in, go in, go in. Please, oh this is definitely <laughs> lovely. <laughs> lovely, lovely. Yes, I love it. Gone is the drab and the dullness. Now this room has character. Isn't this beautiful? I'm genuinely thrilled that if I could, I'd do a somersault backwards, and then if Gordon had let me, I'd kiss him. And even if he doesn't, I may drag him in and give him a big old kiss right on the damn lips. <laughs> Megan, nice to see you. that you're happy. I'm very happy. Huh? It's more than I can have hoped for, and it seems to be the beginning of the end of our struggle. Do you think the parents of those 20,000 students yes. in the university will want to stay here now? Yes. yes. All right, would you like to see one more room? Yes. 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 Let's go. All right. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Damn, I love this room. Beautiful. I'm in a dream. Wonderful, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I mean, I can't ask more. Suki, this is not a chain hotel. This is your no. hotel. No, that's right. Something that's to be proud right. of. Oh. That's awesome. I've got something else to show you. This one 
you're going to absolutely love. Ready? So excited. <laughs> Please, I'd like to welcome you all to your stunning beer garden. There we go. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, my God. Oh. oh this yes. is what I call a beer garden. Damn. Oh, yeah. OK. Modern benches. So we have communal benches as well, large parties, uh, families. Additional space up there as well we've taken advantage of. Stunning furniture. That's nice. Beautiful. <laughs> I love it. You go into the gazebo, we have the most amazing local beers. Oh. Craft beers on tap. Oh, nice. And these stunning craft beers that can rotate oh. local beers to sort of promote stuff locally. That's awesome. The beer garden is awesome. I'm going to christen it myself, and somebody's going to have to carry me out of it before we open the doors to the public. There's one more thing I'd like to show you. Please, come with me. Yes, sir. I love this garden out here. Welcome to the new Hotel Chester's stunning beer gardens. Food. This hotel is in a vibrant college town in the heart of Mississippi. So I've created a menu that will attract a younger crowd and highlight Southern comfort food. Gone is the fusion confusion. <laughs> Suki, I'm sorry. All gone. Good. Southern food fits the location. How can we be in Southville and not have stunning fried green tomatoes? Next to that, we have oyster bacon po' boy. Fried crispy oysters, crispy bacon with a stunning spicy remoulade. And Gordon's Burger. He's a chef. Ooh. And he, from time to time, comes up with some stunning recipes for burgers. Uh, this burger recipe um, is featured in the Planet Hollywood in Vegas, and it is to die for. The new menu complements the state of Mississippi. I think it really suits the beer garden. Wonderful, wonderful idea. Suki, I have something for you that's going to make your life in the kitchen a whole lot easier. Bear with you. One second, please. Now, I've got someone I'd like to introduce you to. Uh, someone who's very special with two uh, unique assistants. Come through, please. Say hello to Enrica Williams. Now, she'll be Hotel Chester's new head chef. This lady is a very experienced chef, and she absolutely knows her stuff. I'm covering Enrica's salary. I'm taking care of that until this place picks up and you can afford to keep it yourself. Can you kiss her? <laughs> Having Suki in the kitchen kind of broke my heart every day, so I'm really looking forward to getting to know the chef and her apprentices and giving them all the support I possibly can. Suki, I want you to keep cooking, but I want you to have a bit of fun with it. And here's how it's going to work. Suki's rabata grill, skewers, chicken, beef, shrimp, yeah. with garlic, yeah. ginger, soy, marinade. That's a robata. It's a personal touch. I love it. I love the change. Robata is classic Japanese barbecue. When you think of a robata grill, you think marinated, Japanese style. It's easy to execute. And you know what? It cuts a little bit of slack in the kitchen. It gives the kitchen a bit of time. <laughs> now, all of you, sit down and tuck okay. in. Thank you so much. Please. Thanks, Gordon. That looks so damn good. Doesn't it? With word out to the locals and the college students about the Chester's new vibe, this hotel is ready for business. How are y'all doing? Checking in? Yes. Checking in for two under Sanford. As the new younger clientele begin checking in, it's clear the renovated rooms are a hit. This is How awesome. How nice is this? It feels so big and so bright. It's just wow. We need one of these comfortable at home. While the rooms are proven to impress, the renovated beer garden is also creating a buzz with students, parents, and locals. Yeah. We need to get a little taste. Hey, everybody said there's something different. <laughs> Fried green tomatoes. Do you want anything from the grill? That's my, uh, it's my little one of everything. It's what are you drinking, buddy? David seems reinvigorated as an owner and is really getting into it. Let me get your glasses. Just call them out to me. I'm thrilled to death. Just looking out there and seeing people eating good food and drinking good craft beers and conversing is uh, exactly the kind of environment I wanted out there. I need a burger medium, a fish and chips, pulled pork. And without Suki in the kitchen, the new head chef is doing a fantastic job of making wonderful meals and getting them out in a timely manner. That is it for high one. So now we're working high two. Make him sweat, God damn it! There you go. All right, buddy. The biggest thing Gordon has done is giving me a new sense of confidence and an opportunity to have my wife be my wife again. My favorite has been the uh, Gordon's hamburger. I'm not a hamburger eater, and it's a fantastic and it's a money back guarantee. I'll give you money back if you don't like it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. That's the best burger in Starkville, without a close second. It is. It is, so, is this is the best so of everything. Now that the Hotel Chester is catering to what the locals want, 
and with Suki and David embracing the changes, I know my job here is almost done. Time to say goodbye. Hey, Gordon. I'm going to miss you both. We're going to miss you too. Look after each other. Embrace these students, their parents, and get this hotel full. When I see you behind that bar serving pints, yes, that sir. for me is you and your element. All right. Take care of yourselves. Yes, sir. Okay? Well done, darling. Seeing you bouncing around out there tonight, happy in front of customers rather than stressed. Good to see you. Take care of yourself. <sighs> wow. Oh. I'm sorry, I forgot one little thing. Can you come with me, please? Yeah. One little thing before I go. The relaunch of the Hotel Chester is a huge success. Can you come with me, please? Yeah. Now Suki and David are on their way to making this hotel the talk of the town. Get in the car, please. But before I leave, I have one more surprise for them. Right, there's one more little thing I wanted to show you. Isn't this place beautiful? That gorgeous pool there. Both of you, come in for two seconds. Now, living in that tiny room with no windows is not the way to live. So, this is your new apartment. I rented this for the next six months, and I'm sure when the business kicks off, you'll have sufficient funds to oh, rent this apartment. Oh, I love it. Open plan kitchen, lounge. Have a quick look at the bedrooms through there. Beautiful. This is just what we really needed for Dave and me to get away. <laughs> Uh, there we go. Oh, Dave, this is nice. Oh, this is, this this is, is nice. This is so sweet. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Some time out. That is yours. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you again. That's awesome. I'm um, just damn flabbergasted, actually. Being on site and not having time out of your hotel, you were blind to the potential on your doorstep was ridiculous. We thought Gordon was just coming here to help us with the business. He ended up being helping us emotionally, our marriage. He very much wanted for us to be together, and that was so lovely. That's pretty damn awesome, no question mm, about it. Really, really nice. Yes. Thank you again. Now I'm going to hug you too. <laughs> <laughs> Take care of you. OK. Spend, I'm going to kiss you, too. So, <laughs> <laughs> spend some quality time together. Uh, you deserve it. Good night and good luck. All right. Bye, Gordon. Bye-bye now. It's a new start for me, and it's a, definitely a new start for Suki. This is so I'm going to get naked in the pool right now. <laughs> it's so nice to see two people finally happy. Strawberries on fucking sushi. What was she thinking? Since my visit, the Hotel Chester's bookings have gone up. Have y'all stayed with us before? No, this is the first time. And the guests are enjoying the new improvements. It's just not generic, run of the meal. I think, I think this is something special now. It does feel special. Like It's, it's actually had a touch of care given yeah. to it. With the new menu and beer garden, the hotel has become a local hit with the college kids. I don't know what this yeah. is, but I enjoy it. Craft beer you had? Uh-huh. I mean, it was outstanding. You was know? it? Yes. I mean, the local brewery, Mississippi, plus the you had a mix of everything. Oh, so you had the uh, sampler. Had the sampler. sampler was here. The new buzz around town means the Hotel Chester is now bringing in thousands of guests every weekend. And David and Suki are working as a team again. Next March 8th, was it booked? for a reception for about 150 to 200 people. So they want all about 36 rooms for two nights. Gordon has saved us. Our relationship as husband and wife is better. We'll be, we are now partners. I'm gonna give y'all a hug. Come on, girl. I'm Get so you. excited. Come on, guys. What Gordon has done for us means everything to us. And I think Gordon's helped to put the hotel on the map. Let's go suck face for a while. <laughs>